It's the play seen by millions. John's gonna score! Oh, Kelly! Oh, he hands it off! UT Permian Basin is making headlines across the nation after the selfless act of sophomore John O'Kelly. What a play! What a play! Wow! Man, I've never seen that kind of play. That was cool! O'Kelly was on his way to an 85-yard touchdown when he turned and handed the football off to his teammate. Senior Chris Hode. He handed it off to Hode. So why did he hand off the ball? Well, it was senior day at the University of Texas Permian Basin, and that senior linebacker was given a chance to score at his last game ever after starting with the school's original program four years ago. It goes to show that teamwork makes the dream work. That's right. It really is an exciting time. I mean, the university is known for its strong academics. It's the University of Texas institution in the heart of the Permian Basin, but we're also in the home of Friday Night Lights. And so this spontaneous act of selfless kindness really demonstrates the heart of our students. It really shows who we are as a university. The two players behind the play, John O'Kelly and Chris Hode, say they can't believe just how big this has become. It's definitely blown up way bigger than uh, <laughs> than I, I think anybody thought it would. Yeah, the first night, my, my cousin, that's how I first found out about it. My cousin had texted me, and he was like, uh, dude, you're famous. All-American senior Chris Hode finishes college football career in style thanks to his teammate John O'Kelly. That play has been viewed over <laughs> 7 million wow. times. It happened after so The act of sportsmanship is something head coach Justin Kerrigan says can't be taught. It simply speaks to the brotherhood the players have built. Pretty cool, and uh, stuff like that happens organically. Uh, you, you can't really create those kind of moments. Um, I, I think it was a tremendous display of a brotherhood, you know, what, what's been built here over the last four to five years. On the field, I was definitely hit with emotions by it, and uh, John, John being that selfless to hand me a touchdown on my senior night was definitely special, and uh, something I most definitely thanked him for many times over. It's definitely been an exciting time to be a Falcon, but truth be told, it's the stories behind O'Kelly and Hode that should be making headlines. John O'Kelly suffered a season-ending knee injury in 2018, and just two months before walking back on the field this year, he lost his father to cancer. My dad passing, the motivation is higher than ever, right, to, to succeed and, and make him proud. He credits his teammates, especially Chris Hode, for helping him get through the devastating loss. Chris, you know, we talked about a couple of hours, then he came up to me when we got back and he said, uh, you know, I'm playing this season for your dad. He was last of the game, so that meant the world to me. John's come a long ways in that time, uh, not just as a player, but as a man. The battle back from that has been pretty impressive. The, the, it shows a lot to his resiliency. That resiliency hasn't gone unnoticed. O'Kelly was recently nominated for the Mayo Clinic Comeback Player of the Year Award. It was a rough offseason for me, so to, to be rewarded or, or noticed even for that is a, it's pretty special and it means a lot. So I'm thankful and I'm appreciative. Chris Hode has had some impressive accomplishments himself. As team captain, he led the nation with 157 tackles and is the current career leader across all NCAA divisions with 528 career tackles. It makes me proud to know that my hard work has paid off, but at the same time, I can't take full credit for it because people like John, people uh, in front of me, behind me, they, they made my job easier and made it where I can make all those plays and I, I just don't feel right saying that those are all, all because of me. Hode has lived and breathed Falcon football. He's one of eight seniors that was with the program since its inception in 2015. I think, you know, to come in as a first time head coach, uh, I think adds a little bit more to it for me, uh, my family. My wife made the comment uh, before the last game of you know, that the program's just not going to be the same without him. And uh, it's true. Uh, it's tough. So what's next? John O'Kelly has two more years on the field for the Falcons, and he has his eyes on the prize. Conference championship. For Chris Hode, his college career has come to an end, but he hopes to take his football career to the next level. Uh, next is just pursuing uh, 
professional career in football. I know it's not going to be easy, but nothing, nothing about my journey has ever been easy. And as for his dream team, well, let's just say he's looking to trade in his orange and black for blue and white. Say it. Just say it. Say it. <laughs> Are you upset by that? No, I just, this dude. <laughs> This dude wears a Cowboys jersey every game day. That's the type of guy he is. And he was gonna act like he wasn't gonna say the Cowboys no, just now. I mean, I like mean, like he was thinking about team. it. Yeah, but it don't matter. 